in the quietness and the stillness of the morning. We should deem it a great privilege and joy as children of God to have a deep spiritual connection with Him. This is the only way for us to live a real and authentic life. When we wait upon the Lord, He shall renew our strength. We shall mount up with wings as eagles. We shall run and not be weary, and we shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. When we are connected to God, we will overcome temptations such as evil thinking. We will have a spirit of forgiveness and mercy. We will walk away from bickering, malice, anger, hate, and self-praise. We will help others to minister to others who are low in spirit who are in need of food, a warm embrace, and words of comfort and cheer. When we evaluate the gravity of the pandemic around us in Jamaica and other countries, we recognized that tomorrow is not promised to any one of us. Therefore, we must anchor ourselves in the Lord and live within the 24 hours as if it is our last. Yesterday's meal will not suffice for today's daily portions, so we must eat from the word of the Lord to maintain spiritual stamina. Satan is seeking whom he may devour, and the only way to withstand the devil's snares is to abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We must thirst after righteousness. We must stay connected to Christ 24 7. We must meet the Savior at the well every single morning and drink. Christ told the woman at the well, Whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. It was a savior's lifestyle to spend quality hours with his father early in the mornings. He prayed for renewed strength. He interceded on the behalf of man and thus was able to stay connected to heaven. He knew his father's will. Therefore, he was able to overcome the devil, evil angels and evil men that were always after him. Satan will never leave us alone. But guess what? We have someone who can fight our battles. We cannot fight the devil on our own and win. And therefore, we must have the Savior with us at all times. For our faith at best is weak, according to the songwriter. God can whisper words of comfort that no other voice can speak. We must have the Savior with us in the onward march of life, through the tempest and the sunshine, through the battle and the strife. Sister White embraces the same sentiment when she said, we must remember we are co-workers with Christ. When we labor and when we engage in the labor, we should guard the mind. We should keep it stayed upon God. Remember every elder word that we speak, he, we shall give account and we must give account in the day of judgment. Thus, we must close all doors against the adversary of our souls. Let your day be entered upon with prayer. Praise and studying of the word. Testimonies for the church, paraphrased. In closing, let us feast at the table of the Lord every morning so that we can continue to bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit. God will help us. He promises to be there in Psalm 23. He will guard our minds, 
our thoughts and actions as we trod into the unknown. Let Christ be our guide, our friend, our desire. Amen.